I'll introduce you to the gentlemen of the press. Um. Mrs. Scott, this is Joe Belson. Uh, Jack, uh, sorry, I forgot the last name. Jack Vincent, Mrs. Scott. And Hi. Wally Cohen with the camera. Uh, yeah. Uh, listen, you didn't tell me there were going to be any uh, uh, newspaper people here at all, publicity people. Well, I, uh, I didn't think it would do any harm, uh, Mrs. Scott, uh, <laughs> in case something happened. Not that we're expecting very much. Uh, what about Owen Madison, uh, Eddie? Didn't you say he was going to be here? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Madison has been detained on some important business. Now, <laughs> the important business we have out here is to try and find out what's been causing these psychic phenomena. <laughs> Mrs. Scott, yeah. is it true that uh, you consider yourself a genuine psychic? No, that's not oh, true no, no, What Mrs. Scott means is that uh, she's not a, uh, a professional in this field. She's just a, a person with a, a sensitivity toward uh, spirit happenings. Isn't that true, Mrs. Scott? Uh, no, what I mean is that uh, in the past I have had a, a few psychic experiences. That's what all. kind of experiences? Um, well, I, I had a, a few visions and premonitions. Your mother is um, Margot Huntington Dorn, isn't she, yes. Mrs. Scott? <clears throat> Do you really believe that uh, some kind of spiritual presence is in the studio? Uh, no. Wait a minute, gentlemen, gentlemen, that's enough. Now, I told you this was not going to be a press conference. This is just a, a paranormal experiment to try and see if we can find out if there is something here in the studio. Uh, perhaps the, uh, <laughs> the returned spirit of uh, Hester Atherton, the witch who's Sir been Atherton? trying to stop the production of this film. <laughs> Here, would you hold this, please, uh, Mrs. Scott? What for? Well, in case a, uh, a spirit does come, it's bound to come in the dark, <laughs> which, uh, of course, reflects the uh, void from which it came. <laughs> I got that out of a book, fellas. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, just uh, try to find our ghosts, Mrs. Scott. I'll go kill the lights. Wasn't there a time when Sir Lawrence Olivier almost got killed by a weight? Uh, that sounds like Master of the Dam. <laughs> In the 1942 production, three people died, the set designer committed suicide. Mm. And there have been fires, too, one as recent as 1971. Hmm. How about you're a mine of cheerful information, Mr. Rafferty? <laughs> there was also a murder, right on stage. An actor playing Macbeth substituted a dagger and killed the actor playing Duncan. You got off lucky, Mr. Maysfield. All right, Mom, now when you have to stab patients, press this button, the blade will retract. When you stab the desk, leave your thumb off the button, okay? Yes, I understand. All right, good. Joe, would you set this up for us, please? All right, everybody, can I have your attention, please? Now, I don't need to remind you all how important this scene is. It's the scene where patients discovers Hester is a witch. So I want everybody to be on their toes, all right? I want to do a dress rehearsal here. You ready, ladies? Yes, ready. Ready. All right, Joe, when I give you the cue, we'll use the music as background atmosphere. All right, places, everybody. This is a dress rehearsal. And cue the music. Action.
prince of eternal darkness, come unto me. Master of foulness, hold out thy hand. Breathe thy tongue of fire upon my face. Scorch my lips with thy searing kiss. Brand my soul with the irons of hell. I accept thee, Lord of my heart yields to thy power. Uthus, Metahim, Frugativi, et Apalavi, the Siobhi, Satan! <laughs> you! have seen those eyes must now be closed no forever no please no 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 Never forget your face. I'm waiting for you, Deborah. Let's get out of here. No, no, no. No, it's dangerous in here. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to light any matches. I just wanted to be alone here for a while. What about Deborah Saxon? Oh, Eddie, please go back to the party. I don't like the look on your eye, Nola. Then go away and you won't see it. All right. I'll go outside. But I'm going to wait for that Saxon gal and I'm going to tell her that you've changed your mind about seeing her. Oh, go do whatever you damn please. Do you think it matters to me anymore?
voice of eternal darkness come unto me. Master of foulness, hold out thy hand. Breathe thy tongue of fire upon my face. Scorch my lips with thy burning kiss. Brand my soul with the irons of hell. Sake, it's you, the red-headed ghost. I'm a police officer. Now, what's going on here? So, well, I don't know, miss. I, I mean, officer, I mean, all I know is I saw smoke coming out of that place, so I put in a call to the police department. Oh, and uh, I called the guy who owns the place. Mr. Madison. Yeah, that's right. He looked to bring in somebody out of that place. <coughs> hey, look, I, I think I know her. She looks in pretty bad shape. We better give her a hand. Are you sure you don't medical attention? No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Mrs. Well, Madison, what happened? How did this fire start? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was a short circuit or something. I, I was just turning off the lights. And, and, oh, uh, uh, here, just no, Sam, that's okay. I'll take care of her. I, I know the lady. Now, uh, you're Mrs. Madison, right? Yes. Was there anybody else in there with you? <laughs> yes! Eddie! Eddie's in there! There's someone he else went in there? in there to help I'm me! I'm sure right. Yeah, you better oh get God, back. I hope he's all right! Oh, he will be, he else. will be. <laughs> Mrs. Madison, please, tell me what happened. I don't know. I, I was just sitting there in the studio. Everybody else had gone to the, to the rap party. <laughs> but I, I stayed behind. So you could meet me? Uh, yes, yes. I thought we could have talked. Uh, now you, you said you said you turned the lights off. Now th th does that mean that you were leaving? Did I say that? I, I meant I was turning the lights on. It was getting dark, and then the next thing I knew, the whole building was in flames. <laughs> I had to run out as fast as I could. Now what about Eddie Vaughn? He was outside. I guess he saw the flames dark too because he he went in after me yelling. He didn't realize that I was all right. I tried to go in to tell him, but but by then the whole place was burning. There was so much smoke. I couldn't breathe. I, I had to get out. Yeah, well, if he's still in there, he's a goner. <laughs> Oh, my fault. <laughs> right, Johnny, get somebody over here. Let's go. Okay. Uh, just being one. All right, I'll get mad. Let's get him up. All right, go. Oh. <laughs> Mom, are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm all right. I got out in time, but Eddie didn't. Eddie. <laughs> Would you see yourself in the monitor? I really like your hair that way. I meant to tell you. The weather report. I was sitting on it. Ah. For most of the Midwest, it looks as if sunny skies are going to continue straight through the weekend. The warm front, which has brought unseasonably high temperatures to our area, will continue for at least 48 hours. But there are signs of relief in the northern states. What am I going to do with this? Our area will continue for at least 48 hours. But there are some signs of relief in 
in the northern states. For most of the Midwest, it looks as if sunny skies are going to continue. Winter! Ah! just called. He won't be coming. He's very sorry. It's just us, Nico. Winner, please, let me out of here. Wait, wait a minute, Nicole, I know you're talking, but I, I can't hear you. Um, wait a minute. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, I can hear you, and you can hear me. Winner. I don't believe you about Miles. You're lying. Now, he promised that he would be here. Nicole, his patient is very sick. Now, he asked me to take care of you. He asked me to protect you from that madman. And I told him that I would do everything that I could.
Nicole? Look, maybe we can talk. Maybe we can... Maybe we can come to some kind of an understanding, okay? I mean, you're right. I, I don't have anything to worry about, do I? After all, there is that law, that law of double, double jeopardy, and I, I can't be tried for Wade's murder, can I? I mean, it's over, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole? Look. What I said about tag? I didn't really mean that. Of course, I didn't have anything to do with Tank's death. It was Steve who shot him. You see, I tried to help him. I have a lot to be grateful to Tank for. Nicole? Oh, come on, this is absurd. Don't you feel silly? Playing hide and seek at our age? Nicole? You're not listening to me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I mean, why should I hurt you? You can't hurt me. I have no reason to hurt you. Please, just... Just tell me that you're not going to say anything to anybody. We can forget all about this, okay? Okay. Oh, well, maybe you can't forget about tonight, but I'll I'll go away, okay? I'll I'll leave Monticello tonight, all right? And then you don't ever have to think about me again. Oh, please, come on, say something! It's no use. You know that, don't you? I mean, I know where you're hiding. All right. All right, you want it that way? And then that's the way it's going to be. All ugly and horrible, okay? That's the way it's going to be! Ah! That won't do you any good, Nicole. You can't get away from me. Can't. Oh, God. Oh, don't do this to me, Nicole. Oh, please. Please don't do this to us. Oh, please. It's no use. You, you, you can't go on hiding, you know? I, I'm, I'm going to find you. Oh, please don't play this horrible game, please. Let's just get it over with. Let, 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 let's just... Let's just get it over with it. Oh, damn you, Nicole, damn you. Oh, Nicole, look, I know that you think that the Mars is going to come to save you, but He's not, don't you see? He said he was gonna go straight home, right from the hospital, so he can't save you. Don't you understand? He can't, he can't save you. Nobody can save you. Huh. Nicole.
Here, Miss Madison, get her out of here. What's going on Madison's here? Just having a little fun. Come on, baby, get that woman out of here. Go take her to the car, all right? And be careful, this guy might not be alone. Hey, you're not going in there. Are you worried about me? Go ahead and call the police, will you? But make sure you two out of danger first. Get going out with a car. Be careful! Hey, you can't go in there. It's dangerous. You're yeah, no kidding. What's going on in there? Who's Look in this. there? Look, is there another way out of here? No. Okay, get these people. Oh, back up, please. Back up. Give me the room. Okay, mister, there's no other way out. You might as well use the front door. Look, I'm a police officer. Now, if you've still got that weapon, throw it out where I can see it. You can't spend the rest of your life in here, buddy. Not unless you can eat and drink electricity. Look, I'm warning you, I've got a gun. Look, I've already sent for assistance. There'll be a dozen cops here in five minutes, so you might as well just give yourself up to me. All right, suit yourself. I'll just uh, wait here till my pals come and then we can all go down to the station house together. What do you say? But that's it, huh? Okay. I'll uh, see you later.
We invite you to join us each weekday for The Edge of Night.